During the Civil War, when Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, one of the things it did was authorize African Americans to enlist and fight in the Civil War. The Confederacy, when they ended up capturing African Americans during battle after that point, did not consider captured African American soldiers to be soldiers. They considered them to be runaway slaves, essentially, or property. And so once they were captured, sometimes they were just executed. But if they weren't executed, the Confederacy said, we're not going to exchange these prisoners. We're not going to give them back. We're going to return them to slavery. So Lincoln basically said, you're not going to do that. You have to exchange these prisoners the same as any other prisoners that you capture. The exchanges were stopped when the Confederacy refused to exchange African-American prisoners. And so that was one of the reasons that both sides ended up with a lot of prisoners of war because the exchanges stopped. Prisons became overrun and very crowded with prisoners. You are standing at the gate entrance to the Andersonville prison. Imagine you have just arrived here as a prisoner of war during the Civil War. What do you hear? What do you see? What do you smell? <laughs> 